So there is a Rasmussen daily tracking poll, and it's fairly reliable. That's a, a reliable outfit. And every day they come out in the morning with favorable, unfavorable job approval for the president. You want to know what it was this morning? I think you do. I was stunned. 51% disapproved, 49% in this poll, which is accurate if you look at the things that they have polled, like the election. All right, 49% of Americans approve the job that Donald Trump is doing. So what does this tell us? It tells us the sympathy growing for the president. Because out of that 49% number, it's not all Republicans. There's a lot of independents in there. You've got to assume that Democrats and liberals, all of them, disapprove. Um, so that is a, a very interesting and surprising number that I thought you'd like to know about. So the reason that some are sympathizing with Donald Trump is because the left, as it always does, is overreaching now. So it's want to, trying to get him out of office. He's only got eight days left, but they want to humiliate him. They want to uh, figuratively slaughter him, uh, ashes like at Carthage, so nothing ever arises in the Trump nation. And they're doing it two ways. There is a congressman named Jamie Raskin in Maryland, far left nut, really extreme. So he has now uh, put forth a uh, measure, a measure, not a law, but he's going to get a vote in the House because of Nancy Pelosi. And it is that the measure says the vice president should convene and mobilize Trump's cabinet to declare the president incapable of executing the duties of his office and immediately exercise powers as acting president. So Trump uh, would be out and Pence would be in. This is the 25th Amendment. It's never going to happen, but it will be voted on. And do you think that Americans want their public officials doing this? Only the far, far left does. The rest of them are going, this is really not necessary. Pence is not going to cooperate. It's not going anywhere. It's not a law. It's just a measure. So this vote is going to take place at 7.30 p.m. tonight. By 10.30, you know, CNN will be celebrating. But it means nothing. Nothing at all. And then tomorrow, on January 13th, the impeachment will then be introduced. So what happens there is there are 435 members of Congress 222 Democrats, 211 Republicans. There'll be enough votes tomorrow or Thursday, whenever they decide to take a vote, to impeach the president. Because Nancy Pelosi basically says to her members, if you don't vote for it, you're not going to get any money in your re-election campaign in two years. The Democratic machine won't give you any money. You have to vote. This is what Pelosi and a lot of them do that. I mean, you know, the Republicans do it, too. But this is um, now there'll be some defections from the Republican side. Not many, but you'll get a few. So that'll pass. OK, and then what we have is nothing again. We have nothing because the Senate's not in session. They're not even there. They're not coming back till a week from tomorrow. And McConnell's never going to put this up for a vote. He'll find procedure. He'll find Remember, two-thirds of the Senate has a vote to convict. This farce that we had last year about the Ukrainian call, I mean, you know, it didn't go anywhere. Nobody even remembers that it happened. That's how ridiculous the whole thing was. So McConnell find a way not to even hold a vote, and then Trump will be gone down in Florida, and Biden will be president. But Pelosi may still push for a vote in the Senate. But McConnell won't do it. So then it'll be in the courts. Can you impeach a president who's already left office? Can you do that? And it'll wind its way to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court will finally say, no, we can't. Well, Joe Biden is going to be president, and we may be in for some economic uncertainty. That's why now more than ever, I recommend you diversify with gold and silver. The only company I recommend is American Hartford Gold. So please call them right now and tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they will give you up to $1,500 of free silver on your first order. Now, since I've been recommending American Hartford Gold, 
Gold itself up over 40%, silver up over 60%. So don't wait. Call 866-501-5201. That's 866-501-5201. Or text BILL to 65532.